Welcome back to SnowRunner, guys, and today we're going to be checking out a brand new console-friendly mod based on the 40 Series Toyota Land Cruiser. Now, this mod specifically is called the Pioneer BR40, and this is literally how it comes completely stock. There's really nothing on it. There is a frame, a cab, and that is about it. But what you'll see a little bit later on is that the customization that this thing allows you to do is is so extensive that you can basically build it into whatever you want it to be and I'm sure that there will be aspects of this thing that we might not even scratch the surface of in this video but I'm gonna do my best so let's actually check out the interior real quick and if we look around the interior we can see that it's actually a really nicely modeled out place to be it's really pleasant and you could actually spend a lot of time in here but but enough about the interior, let's get it back into the garage and see what we can do with it in terms of the customization. So let's drive you back to the garage and see what we can do. And now, we're going to start off with a C power to weight rating, which uh, basically 85 horsepower, reliable, but no grunt. Next, we move up to the OM40, five more horsepower, and it still is a C power to weight rating. Then there's the 14B with a C plus, and the 14B turbo, which is a B. Now, keep in mind, this thing literally the top engine only gets you to a B power to weight rating. So this thing is not going to necessarily scream, but again, it's meant to be a little bit more on the realistic side of things. Now, gearbox wise, you got stock, fine tune, freeway, and snow runner. I'm going to go with the. Actually, you know what? Fine tune. I'm going to try the fine tune because I feel like the fine tune will apply nicely to both on road drivability and off road trail riding. Now, suspension wise, you got the rock crawler suspension, which is rank locked to rank 12. Now, you've also got stock raised and tuned custom however i'm actually going to leave the garage and i'm going to use the uh the dev console to upgrade it to uh the rock crawler because that's really the suspension that i want to be using so we got the rock crawler suspension on it now and it says it can take you places you'd never thought it would be able to i think we're going to put that to the test and then tires wise, let's see what we can throw on this thing. Now we definitely have a fair amount of vanilla looking tires, but we also have these things. These look really, really good. And they're actually not that small either. They're a 35 and a 35 on this thing is pretty freaking big. You also have the option to go up to a 41, which I think is definitely going to be what we're going to want, especially now that we're on that rock crawler suspension. Now let's go with the autonomous scout winch engageable diff lock spare wheel well we'll do that a little bit later on snorkels uh we're gonna go with the tall front facing i like that one actually that looks like a custom snorkel for this particular chassis that looks awesome now all-wheel drive engageable all-wheel drive is absolutely going on this thing and then frame add-ons wise it looks like we're gonna have to add a bed a little bit further on in the customization so let's see miscellaneous rear bumper where did they aha so he put the rear bed or just just the bed in general in the rear bumper selection so you can do nothing you could do a original style bed you can do a wood style bed or you could do a extended chassis which essentially makes this a more passenger focused land cruiser or you can do a medium log add-on, which the coolest thing about that is that you can literally load this thing up with medium logs and haul them around basically with a stack of logs and straps on top of them as you would in the real world. It's so cool. So moving back to our other selections, I think I might actually start with the... I'm thinking the, I'm actually thinking the wooden add-on. I think the wooden add-on looks really good, but I also like the original. I think the original is like, okay, so that one can haul repair parts. That's pretty cool. They have, oh my God, they've got a lot, a lot of stickers for this thing. Caution, loose nut between steering wheel and driver's seat. I like that. That applies to me. No problem? Problem. Yeah, uh, if you could read this, roll me over. No road, no problem. I'm loving the amount of, like, stickers this thing has available. Like, this is awesome. There's so much cool customization on this thing. Now, let's see what we can do with... Ooh, I, I dig that. I really... Oh, man. I love the bumper customization options. I just don't like how that one kind of like clips so far back. I'm kind of, you know what? We're just going to do the simple uh, lights with the little extra bumper there. Original stickers. Oh, look at this. High lift jack, 
fog lights. Oh, that's awesome. Side thresholds. We'll do... Ah, we'll do these. These are nice and simple. And then grill-wise, we got an old-style grill and a modern-style grill. So you can actually even make this look like a later series Land Cruiser if you want to do that as well. Let's see. Removable fenders. Does it just... Oh, nice. Okay, so it just takes the fenders off for more tire clearance. Yes, please. Um, what about... Okay, wheels. So we got yar wheels and, well, blacked out yar wheels. That's about... That's about it. Now, rear bumpers. I'm not going to do that again because I went through that. And then I just wanted to make sure that I didn't miss any possible add-ons. But now, let's go through some of the color options. I like the base color, but I also like the way most of these colors look very weathered. They look like they fit the aesthetic of the game really nicely. And they also fit the aesthetic of the vehicle. Because most of these, if they get used out in the wilderness for many, many years, they're going to look like this. Like, this is a very realistic way for a vehicle like this to look. So let's find a color that is kind of like right in the middle of what we're looking for. I like the blue. I like the blue a lot. I also like the red. Um, I kind of like this faded orange, too. I think that kind of applies really nicely to the way this thing looks. We'll go in and throw... Actually, you know what? Beans on the dash. Accessories. You guys can go through those and set them up however you want. You've also got... Let's see. Yeah, dude. You've got, like, all sorts of windshield banners. If Like, you can throw whatever you want to throw on this thing. Let's see. Must eat mud. Mud bandit. Let's see. Off-road. We'll just throw that one on there. And then we got even more... Dude, you've got hood ornaments too? That's pretty legit. All right. So let's see what this thing can do now that we've got the rock crawler suspension on it, the 41-inch tires. Good old 40 Series Land Cruiser. The fact that this is console friendly as well, bro, I, I cannot get over how cool this thing is. So let's put this rock crawler suspension to the test. It should be fairly flexible. I mean, that's literally the entire point of a rock crawler suspension. So let's see what this thing has once we... Well... Oh, that didn't go well. Hold on. We're a bit stuck. Is that just due to a poor line choice? Or not enough wheel speed? Or something, something else that I can't make out right now? Come on. I mean, it's... I really want it to be able to climb this, but I don't know if maybe it has... If maybe it's like it's tuned in a more like vanilla way because the tire grip doesn't necessarily seem like it's there like the suspension the suspension is there the suspension capability is there it's just like I don't know if the tire grip is there in the way that I'm looking for but let's let's keep the drive going I feel like there's still a chance that maybe we could be you know, maybe on the wrong track or off to the wrong foot with this thing. But the tire grip seems really slippy. Really, really slippy. Maybe if we slow down just a little bit. It just doesn't really like these rocks. It's It definitely is, like, very icy on the rocks. And that, again, that's not, you know, that's not to say it's bad. That could just be a personal decision on the creator's part in the way he wanted it to be tuned. Let's try this rock ledge and see how it likes that. See, it actually is doing much better on this. You just got to let it kind of, like, you know, fiddle its way around with the grip so it can find what works. Just a little bit further. Ah, uh, it needs to be able to bump the rock. And I don't know if it can bump this rock. This rock's a little bit of a tricky one. I don't know if it actually has the ability to bump it. Let me see if I can just fiddle with that front grip a little bit more. Okay, you know what? Nope. Give it some wheel speed. Nope. Give it... How about we aim it a little bit more this way? Eh, uh, no. It's... Yep, yeah, nope. It's not, uh, it's not feeling that. What if we aim it really far that way? trying to do this without the winch okay we got the front axle up but see it still slides back down the tire grip just really isn't there um the tire grip is very low and i'm not i'm not again i'm not saying that as like a criticism of the mod uh it just seems to not be a big fan of rocks now let me actually try the tuned custom suspension which sits a little bit higher it probably doesn't have as much flex but it does sit a little bit higher let's take this thing to a hill climb and see how it does on a hill climb that's dirt and not rocks because maybe it just isn't the biggest fan of rocks on these particular tires but these tires looked like a pretty good choice they looked like a really good option so i figured i would take them for a run to see what they felt like all right now this hill climb this dirt hill climb right here oh What's up, bud? 
I guess you're gonna haul me out of here if we wreck, right? Oh god! Oh, yo, that's that's kind of surprising. Bro, we didn't even make it a, a little bit of a way up that hill. Alright, hold on. Let me try this one more time. Come on. There's high gear, which isn't all that fast, but you would think that... Yeah, that's kind of weird. This is the first thing I've, like, taken up this hill that hasn't been able to, to climb it. That's low plus with lockers on. That's standard low with lockers on. It gets a certain way up, and then it's, like, not able to go any further. See, I want to use this thing for more stuff like this, but I don't know if it's... You know what? I don't know if it's just the tires. Let me change the tires and just see. Let me change the tires and just see, because I have a feeling that it might be the tires. The only thing is, these tires are by far the biggest, so I don't want to go down in tire size. But let me try going down in tire size and just seeing if that helps at all. That's high range. I... It, well, actually... And these are vanilla tires. So the vanilla tires have more grip. Which is very weird. Very, very weird. Usually that is not the case. I made it farther up this hill climb with vanilla tires. Now, granted, I winched right there at the end. But you guys saw right there the difference in grip that the vanilla tires were able to provide. That is very strange. Normally, the vanilla tires would not give me more grip going up a hill like this than the modded tires would. Those modded tires feel like the grip values are way lower than you would normally have them. And that's not a criticism so much as it is a observation. I feel like in the real world, I feel like tires would have more grip than that. So maybe that's, you know, maybe that's just me. And that's not, again, that's not to, you know, say anything negative about the way the original creator tuned this truck. I mean, hey, if, if you want a truck tuned a certain way, that is entirely up to you as the mod creator to set up your truck the way you want your truck. But at the same time, normally, most of the trucks I bring out here to test are able to make their way up that hill climb uh, no problem. So keep that in mind, you know, when you're trying out this truck. Now, at the end of the day, though, I really love the way it looks. And that's why I, that's why I want to have maybe, you know, maybe one more tire option that's a little bit grippier for stuff like trail riding. Because I adore the way this thing looks. I absolutely love it. And I'm always like, because I'm a massive fan of 40 Series Land Cruisers. And I'm always down to see more examples of them in the game. But I feel like this one, this one could be incredible if it had at least one more tire option that had a tiny bit more grip that made it feel a little bit more effective in terms of trail riding because as you saw you know even simple obstacles on this map it had some trouble making it up them and I feel like you know I could be wrong here but it feels like the creator was trying to go for a really realistic approach and that's that's great like I'm glad that he was trying to go for a realistic approach but I think in going for that realistic approach he might have been a little bit too low on the uh on the tire grip, which kind of holds this thing back a little bit on some of the trails that you may take it on, but that's not, like I said before, that's not a criticism so much as it is a, a purely an observation. I still love the rig, I still am happy to mess around with it, but I think it could be taken to even greater lengths if it had maybe one more tire option with a little bit more grip, or maybe even the, the grip on these tires was dialed up just a little bit more, especially on rocks. But that's going to do it for this video and this look at this vehicle. And if you guys enjoyed it, let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. Hit the like button if you did enjoy it. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you guys next time.